Alright, what's good guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is unfortunately about Battlefield 2042. Um, the gameplay you're seeing is obviously not 2042 because um, I actually uninstalled the game because there's there's no hope left for this game and uh today's announcement of uh the next update for battlefield 2042 that being the 3.3 uh, sorry 0 0.33 update um has actually just solidified the game's status all right so battlefield 2042 update 3.3 uh so this update releases on tuesday the 8th of march and the update brings further bug fixes control and key binding related changes, the introduction of updated scoreboard functionality, and the release of the Steadfast exclusive legendary bundle as thank you to Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, Year One Pass, Year One Pass and Ultimate Pack upgrade owners with an asterisk at the end, because I'm sure there's a hundred different fucking terms and conditions that you have to go through. Basically they just chat a load of waffle saying, oh we're, we're committed to listening to feedback and improving your in-game experience with each update and the next update is gonna arrive in early april let's just look at this update let's just let's just look at it so this is the scoreboard which uh dice have taken four months to put into battlefield 2042 a, a couple things really stand out to me first of all right you you can't scroll on this scoreboard so as you can see it goes up to 20 and then it cuts off and jumps to 41 and, and then jumps again to 57 and then to 64 like what i appreciate that you know the scoreboard has been implemented or whatever but like what the fuck is this? What is this? I I I just right. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, match overview has been improved and placed on the left of the screen. This still retains information about the match objective progression and ticket counters, as well as personal stats such as kills, assists, and deaths, alongside your current in-game ping. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dice. The scoreboard now features a team versus team split look for certain team-based modes such as Conquest, Breakthrough, Rush, and Team Deathmatch, alongside the inclusion of death stats to the scoreboard. Wow! Wow! I'm really fucking pleased. Thank you, Dice. Not, not only have you done a team versus team split look, for certain team-based modes. Uh, first of all, isn't every Battlefield game mode mostly team-based? Every fucking game mode is team-based. Alright, maybe not the portal ones or whatever, but th this this is how you know that DICE don't have a fucking clue what they're doing. And this is how you can tell for certain that these are not DICE developers. These are not the people that made Battlefield. These aren't the people that gave you memories of good fucking games. They, they, they can't even describe their own game modes, all of them as team-based. Man, I, I get it that you had weird ones in, in the past, you know, and you had a uh, gun game or, or whatever, and like, yeah, okay, these are in Portal, maybe not all of them are team-based, but man, you got Breakthrough and Conquest, right, those are the only two game modes which you have outside of Portal, are they, are they not team-based? Like, what what the fuck are you actually on about? I, none of this makes sense. Well, these changes were two of your most requested missing pieces. Oh, I can't do it. This is the first version of the scoreboard and further improvements will be made to this in subsequent updates based on continued feedback such as the scoreboard being available during the end of round screens. Why do you, why do you, oh. mate, I'm going to lose it. Can I, can I just say, please, please, dice. You, you, Dice, listen, just listen, yeah? You lot are game developers. You lot get paid to make video games, right? That, that's your job, is to build video games and to know what the fuck you're doing. And maybe, right, to have some kind of idea about what is acceptable in a video game. Or at the very least, a bare minimum, okay? You, you do not need the community to tell you that having a scoreboard on an end-of-round screen is a good idea. If if you lot are competent, even in the slightest, if if you even have the tiniest little part of your creative brain that's working, then you will know that this is so 
goddamn simple. Th this is dice to a T now, modern dice. They they love to use this kind of language where, oh, this, this is your feedback. This is what you said to us. You know, they always turn it back round onto the community. Like, we're either the ones that are giving them all of their inspiration or bothering them to the point they don't want to talk to us. As it's been said on Reddit and Twitter and every other goddamn social media platform, it's fucking gaslighting. Hate to use therapeutic language on YouTube, but, but that's what it is. Your fucking up and you're turning it around and putting it back to the community giving the community responsibility which yes maybe is a good idea for inspiration but not for exact direct guidance on what to do with your game because if that's the case then why aren't you paying us give us money and we'll fucking build the game for you all right whatever moving on um the steadfast exclusive legendary bundle uh, so you can now enjoy this bundle if you bought the year one pass or the gold edition or the ultimate edition, blah blah blah. As a thank you for your loyalty from the entire Battlefield team. What Battlefield team? Where is your team? If it takes you four months to create a scoreboard, right, which should be in the game from the get-go, and, and then for that scoreboard to not even be the final version? Is this a joke? I, I just need to know if this is a joke, because I, I'm starting to believe that this is some kind of social experiment. You know, how badly can you fuck up a game, and how shit can you treat your consumers until eventually it all fucking implodes? It's like dice are severely depressed, and they want to fail. They feel like they have to fail, and they're, they're purposely self sabotage so they have an excuse to give up with this fucking failed mess of a game. Alright, so this this is what the bundle contains. Okay, this this is the bundle. So we got a zero resistance skin for McKay. Can I just say this skin is nice? I actually like this skin. I think this was in the reveal trailer. It doesn't matter because it's still fucking McKay and you have to listen to his goddamn woody sounding voice at the end of every fucking match. Grasshopper weapon skin for the K30. What even is the K30? What is a K30? Rapid hammer skin. Iron chariot vehicle skin. A background. And an emblem. Mate, what the fuck are you doing? Also, can I, can I just point out, right, this bolt skin, the iron chariot, is that a skin? Is that actually a skin? That doesn't look like a skin to me. That looks like how the bolt looks in-game. That's not a skin. You have done nothing. You've done nothing. Well, you, you put a little a little shine on it. You put a really slight dirty decal on the fucking tracks. Wow. Well done, Dice. Well done. Do, do, you, do you want a cuddle? Do you need a fucking hug? Do you need someone to tell you that everything is okay? And you don't have to destroy your game every... Alright, moving on. Um, this, this is how they end it. Um, these are the fixes which are coming with the 3.3 update. Bearing in mind this update was delayed. Bearing in mind it's been how long since the last update? Like a month. Fix the game crash that could occur on Origin or Xbox One when signing in or out whilst using an Xbox One controller. I don't care. I just don't care. Set in chat key bindings no longer requires a game restart to take effect. Okay, how long did that take? 15 minutes like i'm not pretending like i know my shit but that doesn't seem too difficult uh, there's a load of other bollocks I, i'm not even gonna read it out uh what sorry what's this established new location for our eu data center as frankfurt they're not even talking about the game anymore they're talking about their goddamn offices this is how you know that they don't have a clue what's going on it's like the equivalent of saying Oh, I fixed my nationwide debit card, and now I can go and buy my sausage roll from Greg's. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I just, I don't understand how a, a real person has written this. I don't, I don't get how a real team of, of actual experienced, right, experienced quote-unquote developers can do this shit. How are you employed? Is is Frostbite that fucked that you can't do a single thing with this game? Or do you just not care? I, I, I think it's honestly both. Who gives a shit about the EU data center? Why even put that in? Are you okay, Dice? 
I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss you on the fucking lips. Hazard zone. Oh, so two of the fixes are, two of the fixes are hazard zone. Oh, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm not talking about this game. I'm not doing it. This game is a goddamn joke. And, and I know that like. When I make cyberpunk videos and that, you know, I'm trying to be optimistic because there's a reason to be optimistic because the game shows promise. Battlefield 2042 will give you nothing. There is, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing to hope for in this game. This game is done. You know that. I, I'm not going to be the first person to tell you, certainly not the last person to tell you, but I am telling you that this game does not deserve your money, it does not deserve your time, it does not even deserve your brain power. Just don't, just don't think about it. That's all you have to do, just don't think about it. Uninstall the game, forget about this game because this game's done. This game's done. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong because this game is fucking done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. And uh, as always, I'll uh, catch you lot in a bit.